We were so impressed with our next guest first appearance a couple of weeks ago that we have brought him back. 11-year-old film critic known as Lights Camera Jackson has already won a local Emmy Award in upstate New York. He's here with his latest movie picks for the holiday weekend. How are you? Good, good how are you? Good to see you, you buddy. Good very good, everyone. very good. Yeah. Yes. First movie first. Now, we want to talk about Eclipse. Now, how Twilight old are you? Twilight Saga. I'm 11. You're 11. Yes. What is What is Eclipse rated? It's rated PG-13 for some action violence and some adult subject matter and situations that really younger kids shouldn't be watching. I right. was a little bit surprised. You were surprised. So it's okay for you to go? So did you go with your parents? Yeah, you usually to the movies I go with my father right. I go, or my mother sometimes to the right. more the Miley Cyrus types. Oh, okay. I go to the movies. Yes, right. I always have a So they're PG-13. You go to see a club. Right. And, and what did you think? You know, this was my first Twilight movie, and right. I never read the books. Okay. But it, for what it is, it's not that bad, a little bit better than I expected. Uh -huh. But still, some things, it's not really my cup of tea, the whole Twilight saga. <laughs> but it's not that bad. I mean, some of the special effects aren't the greatest right. in the world. You mean that whole kind of love story thing? There's was too that much lovey-dovey, Harry. There's too much lovey-dovey stuff. I don't get it. Not enough action scenes. Too much lovey-dovey. So maybe if if you had an 11-year-old female counterpart, she might feel a little differently? Is that possible? You know, I just go to the movies, see them, see what works and, and what tell, doesn't. All right, so yes. what would you, what, what, because you always grade your I movies. Do grade. What, what would you What would yes. you grade Eclipse? On the official Kid Crit Report Card, the yes. Twilight Saga Eclipse gets a C. A C? It's halfway decent. <laughs> You know what? People are booing back no, no, here. No, no, Can I just say, this is what's really important. If you're going to do this, yes. as you do, you got to stick by your guns. Right. If your gut says this is what it is and you stick by your guns, don't allow the public to sway you right. one way it's or another. Just opinions. That's it's right. Just opinions. Way to go. Woo! All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, let's go to, show. Let's go to Airbender. Last Airbender, yeah. Not really entertaining. After, like, the first scene, it's boring. Right. It's really boring. Not entertaining. Not good action scenes. And M. Night Shyamalan has been a director for now about 20 years, six cents, signs. This is terrible directing. I was very surprised. So much unnecessary slow motion scenes. I don't get why. And close-ups that were so extreme close-ups, Harry, that you couldn't even see the edge of the face. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, all right, all right. Say no more. Yes. Say no more. Say no we more. get your feelings okay. here. All right. I'm feeling like Regis Philbin. Yes, I am. Uh, what's great? What do you grade? Yes, what do you grade on the this? official Kid Crick Report card, the last airbender gets a D. A D. One of the most disappointing wow. films of the year. Wow, this kid yeah, is do not, not go see the last airbender. And the back. 3D isn't good because they shot the 3D afterwards. Uh, that never they works. They did the 3D afterwards. It never all right, works. Listen, that, last but not least, I've been seeing a lot of uh, commercials for right. this. Despicable Me. Yeah, it opens next Friday. Really funny, really entertaining. Move over, Toy Story 3. The minions are here. Let me tell you, these little yellow minion guys you're seeing right now on yeah. the screen are hilarious. They are some classic animated characters. This is a very funny movie. It's sweet, and the minions are hilarious. I gotta tell you, you're thinking right now it's just a villain versus villain movie. But there's a nice story that Steve Carell's character adopts these three girl orphans, and he really starts to care for them and care about his mother more. Aww. It has a nice story you don't Aww. entirely see from the trailer. Right, okay. Aww. Oh, everybody, Oh. All right, so what grade do you give, uh, what, what grade do you yes, give Despicable Me? Yes, on the official grade report card, Despicable Me gets a B plus. B very plus. Fun, very entertaining. I got to tell you, Harry. Yes, please. Animation is leading the way this year with Shrek Forever After, Dragon, Toy Story 3, Despicable Me. This will go down in history right now as one of the best years in animation in years. That's right. Spoken from the mouth of an 11-year-old. That's right. Friday. Yeah. Nationwide. Have a good 4th of July, everyone. <laughs> All right, Jackson. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.